All right, good afternoon. This is James with Z-Coil of Virginia Beach, and this is my first run at fixing the Z-Nut on a broken coil. This is just a simple fix. Uh, you can do it at home yourself if you need be. That's what this video is all about. Just to give you an idea, what I talk about with the broken Z-Nut is you will see inside here this piece that I'm moving around right here is called the Z-nut. When you take the shoe apart, that is what the screw goes into, the top there. Some things that you will need. One is going to be the screw out of the shoe itself. And we here use, it's called Special T, and we can go like this for the non-free advertising, super glue grab you some super glue it'll serve its purpose nicely so what we're gonna do first of all is if your shoes were really dirty and stuff like that clean them up as best you can so you can get all the uh, dirt and grime out so the glue will hold better you're gonna want to get the Z nut kind of moved over into the middle here like this because and I'm gonna hold it as best I can so that you can see the middle like that and you're gonna take the screw you're going to put it down in there, and you're, it's going to be kind of a pain. Well, here, let's do it this way. Let's use a screwdriver for this. And you're just going to thread it down in there a little bit. Not a whole lot, just enough, to, just enough so that you get a hold of it so you can pick it up like this. Now, what you're going to be looking for is... On this Z nut, you see these four little nubs here. Okay, those are important because if they're in the wrong place, you will not be able to get your shoe back, get your shoe put back together. This is really difficult doing this at an angle, so bear with me. So, proper alignment is essential. You're going to get this put back in. Here, I'll scoot this back a little bit. Oh, stop fighting me. So you're going to get it back into place here. Now, what you have is this post here, this little nub, and then this little nub at the bottom. Once you get, them all, get the glue on, you pull it back up into place like so, and you want it in a straight line and you have a little notch here you'll see a little letter this is an L for a large Z nut this large Z nut is specific to this particular spring you may have a different letter on there it may be a S or an M or an L or even an XL um, well actually not an XL large is the biggest one it comes so if you hold it if you have the Z coil flat bottom edge flat sitting like this you have the post, the ball, and then the bottom ball. You're going to have them lined up. Once you put the glue on the Z-nut, this is how you're going to line it up. Now, for us, the easiest way we find to put the glue on is just very simply. Hopefully this will work first time go for me. You just take it and you put it on this little lip, and as you're putting the glue on, you just gently turn it. Um, don't worry about the glue. It's on the bottom of the shoe. Nobody's going to see it. So be generous. And then you just pull it back up and you just simply pull it back up into place like so. Oops. Well, there we go. Like that. I know you can't see it too well because I'm trying to hold it in place so the glue dries. Now I'm going to use a product that we keep here in house. This just expedites the repair process for us. Um, for you, it's going to take a little bit longer. What I'm using is, it's called an accelerant. What this does is it makes the glue drying process go that much faster. Now, once you get the glue on and get it all lined up properly, you're going to base it, I would recommend holding it like this or just trying to suspend it somewhere for a minute, a few minutes. And what's happening is that the pressure is holding it all in place. The, it's the spring is being held in place onto the Z-nut, like so, so it gets a good tight grip, uh, seal 
for the glue there. Now, once it dries, it should look like this. Okay. Post, nub, nub. It's all a nice straight line from the flat edge to the flat edge of the spring. And that's how you fix it. That is it. Again, this was James with Z-Coil of Virginia Beach. Check us out on Facebook at Z-Coil uh, VB. That's facebook.com slash Z-Coil VB. Or you could visit our website, which is www.hollandfootwear.com. And, uh, or you could just give us a call here at uh, Z-Coil of Virginia Beach at 757-961-1600. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.